Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing Skullduggery Pleasant Book 3, The Faceless Ones. This is one of my favourite Skullduggery Pleasant books. It, as of now, is my third favourite. And I like it because of the fact that the Faceless Ones finally appear. Like, up until now, we only heard rumours, and the grotesque Yuri um, was in the last book. But we never got to see them in the flesh, and they finally come back. And then we have... Um, the Diablary, who are some cool characters. Um, they're like if Serpine and Vengeance had like formed a group or something, and of like-minded individuals, and they just work together. Um, and I think that Fletcher is quite good in this, and he's an important character for later on, obviously. Uh, the mystery's pretty good in this one, but it's not really the best out of them. Um, uh, I think the White Cleaver's pretty cool in it. Um, the sea eggs okay in it and yeah but there are some bad things about it as well because um it's a bit unstructured a bit unorganized like you never really um like there's not really a first uh act and then a second act and a third act it's more like the first act then a really long second act and then a really like kind not anticlimactic just sh kind of short and like rushed third act in my opinion but there is, um, Skullduggery gets taken into the portal at the end, which is pretty, like, interesting for the next book. But it does, um, like, it sets up a sequel pretty well, to be fair. And it does have, like, lots of stuff that, uh, is quite useful in the next few books. And I thought it was quite good read, and it's a pretty good book. It's my third favourite out of the Skullduggery Pleasant books. So, yeah. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.